Hey guys, good day grade 8 learners. This is Sir Romeo again and welcome to another video lesson as I talk about another important topic in Science 8. But before we continue, I'd like to give my shout out first to all the students of Mom Jennifer Apan, Mom Leslie Alvarez, and Mom Cory Gail Lennon for watching my videos. Thank you. And especially to my students from grade 8 gold, grade 8 jade, grade 8 sapphire, and grade 8 ruby, and most especially my advisory class, grade 8 diamond. Also, I want to give my shout out to two of my students na nakakuha ng perfect score sa summative exam nila. Si Sean Escote of diamond and Ashley De La Cruz of gold. Congratulations, guys. But let's get to our real topic for today. Science 8. This is Self-Learning Module 7, all about the speed of sound in different media. And so, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to, number one, differentiate the media used for sound to travel, solid, liquid, gas, in terms of the movement of particles as sound passes through. So, for today's lesson, we will identify what sound is all about. How does sound travel? What is a medium? Paano nakaka-apekto yung molecules ng solid, liquid, and gas sa pag-transfer ng, ng, ng sound as it passes through? Number two, we will compare the speed of sound in these media. Number three, we will use a diagram to explain how the speed of sound varies in different media. So, I'll be showing you pictures later for you to be able to fully understand how sound really travels through different media. Alright? But before we continue, let's have a review first of uh, the previous uh, modules that we have talked about. So, it's about gravitational potential and kinetic energy. Now, when we say potential energy, this is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position or state. If it's kinetic energy, then it is an energy possessed by a body by virtue of its movement. So, sa madaling sabi, potential energy is an energy at rest. Yung object na hindi gumagalaw. But it has to be on a certain position above the ground. Now, kinetic energy is the energy for a moving object. So, any movement, moving object with respect to its velocity and mass, would have a kinetic energy. So much more for that since we have already talked about that before. Now let's proceed. Music. Who among you guys are really fond of listening to music? What genres do you listen to most often? Is it R&B, love songs, rap, or pop, or K-pop? We can say that. So these are music. But the question is, have you ever asked yourself, like, paano ba nabubuo yung sound? How does it travel? Ano ba ang kailangan ng sound para mag-travel siya from one person to another? We will be talking about that today. Are you ready? Okay, let's move on. Now, how sound is produced? Sound is produced by vibration of molecules in a medium. A medium is needed for sound to be transmitted from one particle to another. How does it happen ba? Ang sound kasi, para siya, it's a mechanic, mechanical movement. So, it will start from the from an object. Let's say for this picture, a vibrating object. So, there will be a mechanical movement. As it moves, yung molecules na dinadaanan niya, which are the medium, magvibrate sila from one molecule to another. And as it vibrates, matatransfer yung sound from that object to the person who would be hearing that sound. Did you get that? Now, what is a medium? A medium can be solid, liquid, or gas. So, these are the mediums. Again, solid, liquid, or gas. Now, yung speed ng sound as it travels would be depending or nakadepende siya if it's solid, liquid, or gas. So, later on, we will identify Saan ba mas mabilis mag-travel ang sound? Is it with solid? Is it liquid? Or is it gas? Let's continue. Now, how sound travels? Sound waves travel through solid, 
liquids, or gases. Remember that sound is a type of kinetic energy. Ibig sabihin nun, it's, it's moving. So, it's moving from a source uh, through a medium tapos to the receiver. As the particles are moved from their rest position, they exert a force to the particles next to them and pass the kinetic energy. Thus, sound energy travels outward from the source. As I've mentioned earlier, from the uh, source of the sound, magkaroon ng mechanical movement, merong wave, and then magkaroon ng vibration from the molecules ng solid, liquid, or gas. As it vibrates, naguuntugan yung mga molecules hanggang sa makapunta dun sa taong makakarinig ng sound. So, there's always three. Meron kang source ng sound, meron kang medium ng sound, and meron ka receiver ng sound. Okay? Now, Sound travels as longitudinal wave. As you can see from this picture, may dalawang klase kasi ng wave. It's either longitudinal or transverse. But sound is an example of longitudinal wave. Meron tayong tinatawag na rarefaction and also compression. As you can see, yung rarefaction, ito yung vibration la kapag medyo kalat-kalat na yung mga particles or molecules. Now, as as they move, as they vibrate, may mga times doon na yung molecules nagkakadikit-dikit sila. So, you call it compression. Okay? You have rarefaction kapag medyo magkakalala yung molecules. And then, you have compression if the molecules are tightly uh, close to each other. Okay? So, that's the longitudinal wave uh, demonstration or picture or illustration. Now, which medium does sound travel fastest? So, that was my question earlier. San ba mas mabilis nagtatravel ang sound? Is it the solid, liquid, or gas? Take a guess. What do you think? This is an example, uh, a perfect example of how the molecules of solid, liquid, and gas are tightly packed with each other. The solid, as you can see, mas dikit-dikit sila, di ba? Mas dikit-dikit sila. Now, liquid, dikit-dikit sila but not compared to the solid na talagang uh, tightly packed to each other. While with gas, as you can see, the molecules of gas are kindly, are, are kind of uh, apart from each other. Now, ano bang sense nitong molecules na to? Sound travels fastest through solid. Bakit daw sa solid? The molecules present in solids as shown in the picture, are arranged closer to each other. The close spacing of the molecules enables sound to travel much faster through solid than any other medium. Did you understand that? So, ibig sabihin nun, since yung molecules ng solid ay dikit-dikit, kapag merong object na nagproduce ng sound, pag magkakaroon ng vibration, yung molecule, since magkakadikit na sila, mas mabilis magvabibrate. Pag mas mabilis magvabibrate, ibig sabihin, mas mabilis yung transfer ng sound from the source to the receiver. Maliwanag ba? Parang ganyan yung itsura, di ba? Sound, that's solid, and then liquid, and then you have the gas. Now, what about through liquid and gas? Liquid molecules, on the other hand, are not tightly packed as molecules of solids. While in gases, molecules are loosely packed, which enable sound to be transmitted slowly. So, if, if iko-compare mo, mas mabilis sa liquid kesa sa gas. Bakit kanyo? Kasi mas close yung, yung uh, molecules ng liquid kumpara sa gas. Ibig sabihin, pag sa gas, pag nagkaroon ng vibration yung molecules, since magkakalayo sila, it would take them time para maguntugan or mag-vibrate uh, from one another. Hence, yung transfer ng sound would be slower compared sa liquid and also compared to the solid. Did you understand that? I hope I did explain that perfectly for you. Now, the question is, can sound travel through a vacuum? Ano ba yung vacuum? In the vacuum of space, there are no or very, very few particles to vibrate, so sound cannot travel through this medium. Ibig sabihin daw, ang vacuum kasi parang sa outer space, isa siyang lugar na walang hangin. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung walang hangin dun, 
At kahit magsisigaw ka sa outer space, no one would be able to hear you. Why? Because the yung yung mechanical movement coming from the sound, wala siyang medium para mag-vibrate yung molecules kasi wala namang air. Eh. Even water, even solid. So, there's no chance of vibration. Hence, the receiver will not be able to hear a sound. Hang ganito siya. As you can see from the picture, so there's a bell and a glass jar. Even yung bell ay nasa loob ng jar, there would still be sound na maririnig ng receiver kahit nasa loob siya ng jar. Kasi meron pa rin presence ng medium, eh. meron pa rin tayong air. Eh. However, yung isang jar na nasa vacuum, meaning to say no air, there won't be any vibrations from molecules because there is no medium. There are no molecules in, in a vacuum. There's no solid, liquid, or gas molecules to vibrate with each other. So, that means there's no sound to be heard. Are we clear with that? Are you sure? Alright, so that's all for today. This is just module 7. We will have module 8 and module 9, which we'll be talking about how, uh, what are the factors that will affect uh, the speed of sound in water and also air, how does temperature affect the speed of sound and all that. You can just wait for my next video. Again, thanks all for n watching my video. This is Sir Romeo again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Happy, happy weekend. Have a great day and see you all next time. Bye.